Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 24 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty Miller from Summit Property Group, Houston, Texas, talking again a little bit further about opportunities, the sales pipeline today. So, um, opportunity sales pipeline submenu, when we click on that from the main menu, we get into our opportunities. Yesterday, we talked about the cultivate phase of the listing stage or buyer stage, if you will. Um, of the pipeline, excuse me, buyer or seller pipeline. And so the cultivate stage, you wanted to talk a little bit more about that and then show how to create some opportunities there. So as the command system develops, we know that within contacts, we're gonna have both our contacts and our leads. I kind of think about that in my world as leads are people uh, maybe that have filled out a form on one of my landing pages, on my websites, uh, maybe they're being fed in by something that I am either um, purchasing or cultivating or whatever it may be, some other lead source that is bringing people to me. However, I have not yet contacted, connected with them, really had an opportunity to create a relationship. Once I have created that relationship, then I feel like that's an opportunity and I'm gonna start putting those people into my pipeline. So just my version of how I plan on using command, the great thing about it is command can be tailored to each of us. So from within the sales pipeline, listing cultivation would basically be, okay, people I have talked to, they are interested in selling, but it may be six months to 12 months out. So I'm gonna put them in the cultivate pipeline of my sales pipeline, cultivate stage, excuse me, of my sales pipeline. So I've already got one seller, they're looking, they're a little while out, so I've got them set up uh, on a watch um, stage of my cultivate phase. And if I wanted to add a couple more people, let's say I met with some people and they are looking at selling here down the road as well, I could create an opportunity. Basically, it's a listing opportunity. Um, their name is actually AA Seller, so we're going to put them in. And we don't have any of the rest of this information quite yet, so we're just going to leave it blank. Um, but we can put, we know that the location, let's say we did um, an open house in Town Lake and they came by, they were neighbors, they're interested in selling. Um, and I could just say neighbors of open house on Lake Nakona. Their address is one, two, three, Lake Nakona. check on them periodically, right? So this becomes then somebody in my sales pipeline that's in the cultivate stage. It creates the opportunity as soon as I put in that information so we can see all of that here. And then when I go back to the pipeline, basically I now have a second down here. You can see a card now for this new one. Now I can go in here and maybe change the name from seller listing. Maybe I just put their name. So I put AA seller. I could put Town Lake just as a reminder so I know where they're coming from. And then I could go down and save that. And then basically look back at my pipeline and start to see, okay, well here are all the different opportunities I have to cultivate possible leads. I've got Mr. Seller and then Mr. and Mrs. AA seller. As you start to add more and more people to this cultivate um, stage, in my opinion, it may get a little cluttered with this view. So I might actually go from board view to list view, and that way I can see it a little cleaner, just in my opinion, I can see kind of you know where they are. Um, let's say that I've just been kind of keeping an eye on them, and then now they say, hey, we're actually six to nine months out, so I might actually move them to nurture. And then they call me and they say, hey, we want to uh, we want to meet with you in about three months, maybe two to three months. I might move them into the hot stage. So you can see we can basically kind of move them from just keep an eye on them. They're possibly interested to uh, they're getting a little more interested to. Yep, they definitely want to meet very soon. Um, and again, we see how our um, checklist will show in each one of those. I don't actually have checklist for these other stages here. So that's why there is no checklist here. But I can go back in and create those as well. So that's today's challenge. I would basically just say, hey, get through your database, see if you have any buyer or seller leads um, that you have been kind of working on, cultivating. You've been watching them, you've been nurturing them. Um, maybe they're hot, they just haven't made a decision yet. And put them in that cultivate pipeline through the create opportunity button within the actual cultivate phase of your sales pipeline. 
hope you guys all have a fantastic friday and i'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.